Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Deadfire with me, Bregaton. Let's welcome Maya back to the party while we continue grinding out Blightheart. And we'll return to Nekitaka to turn in her quest. Cuts me down with a word. I get along fine with him. He's straightforward to me. Are we talking about the same Atsura? Clear skies. He tilts his head as he watches you, his eyes unblinking. Maya has business with you. Indeed. I hope we return victorious. He turns to her with a bold, almost confrontational stare. A look that seems to mirror her own. It's done in any case. I'll leave you to decide what victory means. Atsura, care to explain what you've been up to? Maya has been assisting with plans to work toward peace in some of the more tumultuous parts of Deadfire. He raises his eyebrows, looking back to her. Oh, peace to some. Peace to all. One day. He stares her down with a challenge in his eyes. I'm certain Harama would agree. He's well, after all, thanks to your decisive action. He cocks his head. Twaha reports success and sends her thanks for your swift intervention. You have aided your countrymen with distinction. There is no higher honor to which a trencher may ascribe. He throws his head toward her, emphasizing his words. But what of your own assignment? I don't think she was supposed to tell me what she did, so I won't rat her out. Say nothing. Nothing that a mountain of bronze oas won't cure. Rawatai values your service, as do I. And I can think of no better reward for the rough country's finest sharpshooter than a piece such as this. He reaches below his desk for an arquebus, which he presents to her with stiff formality. Three bells through. Superb, unstoppable shot, reduced base damage, attacks in a line, maximum three targets. An armor piercing, plus one penetration. This Arcubus was the personal tool of Devio Fortunito, a Valian gun for hire. It utilizes a powerful black rune powder blend, fires conical slugs through a spiral threaded barrel. The gun is unmatched in range and penetrative power. Devio used it to great effect over his bloody career. His most noteworthy act of marksmanship took place at the funeral of Agadi Selagna, by Selanya, a minor functionary of the Valian Shipwrights Guild. The guildsman, though two days dead by Devio's hand, no less, bring quite a crowd to his internment service. A throngs of mourners filled the chapel of Bareth in the gardens of Revwa. Among the crowd was none other than Ferraria Salania, the head of the Salania clan, a brazenly corrupt bureaucrat. He was Devio's target. Devio, perched atop the nearby Ducal Mausoleum, was annoyed to find his sightline to Traria obstructed by the chapel bells. While I complicated the shot, it would not save Traria. Devio took aim and fired. The slug punched through the three brass bells, sounding a chime that drowned out the gun's report. The crowd, started by the sudden cacophony, watched in horror as the Salania matriarch fell dead, shot cleanly through the heart. I won't keep you. I know you both have plenty of business to attend to.
and upgrades Hollow Shot. Attacks Interrupt on Crit and Mournful Toll. Raw bleed damage over time for 12 seconds on target on scoring crit. Then custom cartridges, minus 10% reload time, and impactful chime, plus 10% damage. Reload time is better because it increases your overall DPS. And I prefer hollow shot. We already have a lot of ways to apply raw damage. I think being able to interrupt is better. He's developing quite the little collection. I feel like I should set the record straight. Maya folds her arms and wraps her knuckles against her bicep. Is this about your mission? Yeah. Been thinking about it a lot. I didn't get into this business so I could shoot first in a battle that hadn't even started, you know? I know the Ranganui wants to see results, but I never thought any of us would be complicit in something like assassination. We're shooting at people with dangerous ideas, and assuming the ideas will die with them. I take it you never ask these sort of questions while fighting with the Navy. It's a little different when the enemy ship is turning about, their cannons glinting like a spider's eyes. You don't find time for a lot of deep ethical discussions. You sound ambivalent. Ishiz is a good listener, but he's too dumb to offer much perspective. I could use some of yours right about now. Maya gives you an inquisitive look. I think it's hard to justify option two. I don't think the Juana are doing anything wrong. But I don't agree with what the Royal Deadfire Company is doing, taking out Juana targets like that. I'm concerned that assassination sets the wrong precedent. You're saying maybe this isn't a memory we want to take home. Nodding to herself, Maya seems less thoughtful and more resolved. She cracks her neck and rolls her shoulder, letting out a relieved sigh. You could be right. If we let this sort of thing spin out of control, it won't do us any good in the long run. If we go out Sura's way, we had better be sure that killing the right people makes a difference. Damn sure. And if we fall back on what we know, cannons, sieges, occupation, we had better commit to fighting a moving target. We won't succeed if we don't understand the tribes. And something tells me that we aren't there yet. Yeah, I'm not encouraging conflict between Rawatai and the Huana. The tribes have the entire archipelago as their battleground. I'm sure the Navy would love to test their might against a challenge, even if Atsura is worried about the cost. I had other questions. I've got some answers. Yeah. I feel like that conversation didn't resolve anything. I think currently we found the most unique swords, arquebuses, and um, sabers. I think we have three unique sabers. We have like, I don't know, 20 unique swords. And three unique arquebuses. And we know where we can buy a fourth one. No, that was a blunderbuss. I bought the unique one already, the red hand.
Well, let's get back to exploring the southeast of the Dead Fire. So he's kind of on the way. Let's go take him out real quick. Spent a lot of money recently. We need to reacquire our fortune. And what better way than clearing the sea of scum? Sorry, friend. I can't. Can't control Constantine. Oh! Awesome. Alright, so she got her shot off first. We're not doing that anymore in this fight. I'm listening. I've got this, Captain. Hey, watch it with that. I need to do 250 burn damage. See how much progress we made after this. Light Heart has been upgraded and is complete. Corrupting Beauty. The nearby enemies will become distracted after killing an enemy with the weapon for 15 seconds. And it's superb. The final entry is difficult to read. The letters twist and tremble. So I took it away, the gun. Took it as far away from the village as I could. Chartered a ship and sailed south. Knew what I was planning for certain. The heart didn't take kindly to me interrupting her meal, and she turned on me. The rock quickened, and I withered like a severed vine, shrinking in on myself. The crew of the vessel took sick. The timbers of the ship turned black with mold and began to leak. We ran aground here, as good a place as any. The crew be dead, and the ship no good to me. I buried the heart where it couldn't hurt nobody. Then you come along and dig it up. As I said, I'd be long gone by now. And I can't stop you. If you be intent on taking the gun, so be it. Just remember, my foolish friend, 
heart always be hungry. You best feed it regular, lest it look to you. And since it only goes up to superb, I feel like I'm not incentivized to use the soulbound weapon. Let's let her use her reward for request. Actually, since it's done, we're going to swap her back out for Zodi anyway. I have to have it to just sail all around, all the way around the edge. I feel like they won't accomplish a whole lot. Let's go ahead and take care of Ennis. I didn't forget to check the progress of the dagger. I can do that real quick. Oh, almost done. <laughs> oh. No can do. No good. Great. See. Moe's Ixi Alna. Go. I gotta take care of that guy for me. Well, the cipher didn't last very long. I just do priests, so they're keeping each other healed. That's a little annoying. Oh, so hard. Oh, she's went down. I bring your end. No, hogwash. Yeah. Never no. Take him down. 
Vai. That's this fight. It's a little bit more difficult than I was anticipating. Leave it to me. Of course, I moved him. Ah, uh, shucks. Not a huge deal. Uh, let's go and lob one of these back here. Get our worms back out. Yeah. Uh, good job, Takehu. <laughs> hey, who said you are? Someone priest is down. Let's put the burn damage on the captain. I Hi, Mirko, you're not done. Oh, Takei was blocking her in. Of course, I can't select him to reposition him, so they're stuck like that for a little bit. Too tall. Let go. That order's too tall. Hit me again, and I'll hit you back. I don't think these name ships are for anything besides to fight. And some of them drop unique equipment. But not this time. An upgrade, we got Sacrifice. Kills friendly characters or enemies that are near death. I like how it specifies friendly characters first. Once per rest. Alright, now deal 250 damage to vessels. Kaime accepts what comes next. They all do, of course, to an extent. Kaime, though, she truly believes. A thousand thousand horrors fill this world. Wonderful and terrible. Only Angwith remains steadfast against the storm. Only Angwith meets madness with reason. Only Angwith, Kaima whispers, as the knife falls. I think we don't find a lot of vessels. Well, besides ships, of course. <laughs> That's not what the knife means. Some flotsam.
the Black Isles. A gander around here real quick, and uh... Alright, Fear Gist. The Heaving Harlot. <laughs> like coming for me anyway. Oh, same level as me too. Let's actually have a proper fight on our hands. I mean, the last fight was... I mean, it wasn't hard, but it took a little while. I suspect this one will take even longer. Of course, I don't have any vessels on board. guys are pretty high level too. Oh, there's so many of them. Jeez Louise. Not sure I can. That's one of them down. Good job, Maya. I'm gonna throw one of these back here instead. Use their might. I think it's beyond me. Chill fog back there, and it's one of these guys. This is futile. Hey, watch it, Mister. A lot of people are exploding. Let's go put the burn damage on Fergust. Constantine is probably going to go down. Probably. There's a wall of I think we're missing one of our crewmates. I think it's usually four, right? We have Mirka, we have Maya, Constantine. There's one reason I want to get a bigger ship, so I think it, you can man more during these fights. Hey, who's that are you on? No good. That's it. Not happening. Let's go. Divers, how could I miss that bad? What do you need? Huh? That's not supposed yet. Yeah? Fighter does not want to go down. Back. Take 
Alright, so focus on the fighter first. I'd take care of the ads before I take care of the boss. I was a warbler back there. Warbling away. Finally. I cannot whack him any harder. Blessings be upon you. Mess him up, guys. I'm not sure I can. It's Warbler's Warbler oh, his last Warbler. For? Sure thing. Can I reach this guy. Okay. Hit me again and I'll hit you back. That wasn't that hard of a fight. Uh, we did get Kapanataga. There's a club. Superb. A razor bladed bludgeon. Deals best of crush or slash damage. And plus 5% damage is raw. Staggering force. 10% chance to daze on hit. And champion's implement. 3% melee damage for each engaged target, plus one enemy's engaged. It's a really good weapon. Oops, sorry, I hit my desk. You pry the subsidian club from the dead hands of the captain of the fearsome Black Isle Bastards. A band of loathsome pirates came about such an ancient weapon is unknown, but they were surely attracted to its gleaming surface of volcanic glass. Buccaneers are often drawn to shiny objects. Long before the people of the Dead Fire had access to advanced metalworking, weapons and tools were often made of obsidian, which can be napped to razor sharpness. Many Amoa warriors wielded obsidian clubs similar to this, which require considerable strength to swing with any accuracy. If the markings etched into the weapon are any indi any indication, this bludgeon was the personal weapon of a grand champion. The glyphs tell of glorious battles against numerous foes. Champion's Relic. 3% uh, melee damage for each engaged target, plus 2 enemies engaged. And Lone Champion. Kapanataga's wielder stands alone against all challengers. Increases armor rating and deflection when no allies are nearby. So I'm going to give... Or have a dare. Main clubs. Not main. Clubs will be a secondary weapon. Uh, sabers is primary. This is really good for when I have him charge into the back line. All comers. Immune to flanking afflictions. And unblockable. Plus four melee accuracy for each engaged target. Also very good. I do like how the regular legendary or unique equipment seems to be as good, if not better, than the soulbound equipment you find. Where in the first game, it felt like the soulbound weapons were always better. Again, this stops a superb. It doesn't go up to legendary, which will probably make this the better option later on. All right, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, next time we'll explore the Black Isles. Also, did I ever finish this quest for... Where is it at? So we missed one of these islands near Tekawara. Maybe this is one of the ones I'm supposed to explore, but I feel like it's a different chain of islands. We'll figure it out eventually. Either way for now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.